Hey everyone, okay, really quickly. Um, I've got a second channel now, so I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. I'm posting videos there every single day, lots and lots and lots of reviews. I'm gonna do vlogs and all the other nonsense that goes with second channels. Information is in the description bar with the link to the second channel and along with Twitter and all the other things. So I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to that and on with the tutorial, thank you, bye bye. Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be talking to you about five products that actually really truly 100% work. It's very frustrating being interested in makeup and skincare and finding and spending good money on products that don't work. So this way I'm going to show you five different products and gadgets that actually do truly truly work. So let's make a start. The first one I'm going to show you is 8% AHA uh, lotion. Now AHAs or glycolic acid work by, they're usually a gel or a lotion or a cream, you apply them to the skin and they exfoliate the surface of the skin. If you have mature skin, if you have sun damaged skin, if you have dry skin, then an AHA is absolutely perfect for you. I 100% recommend the Paula's Choice range. I bought all these myself, so they're mine, um, because they are the correct pH. We don't think about pH, we don't go into town with pH strips to test the product, we just believe what we see on the container and oftentimes it's very misleading. With alpha hydroxy acids and beta hydroxy acids, which we'll visit in a second, the pH needs to be low, it needs to be around about around about 3 to 4.5 in order for the product to work. If it's much higher than that, the ability for it to exfoliate, it just stops. So all you're getting is moisturizer. So if you've got dry skin, sun damaged skin, um, all the other things that I just said, then an AHA is great for you because it will exfoliate the surface of the skin, revealing smoother, softer, kinder skin. If you have oily combination skin, blemish prone skin, blackheads, that kind of thing, then you want a product that contains BHA, which is beta hydroxy acids or salicylic acid. You can get these in various strengths. You want one between one to 2% strength. You don't want to go any higher than that because it's not necessary and the irritation you, know, you can get from them, you don't want that. So 2% is great. pH still matters, which is why I tend to use the Paula's Choice range again, bought myself. 2% um, this one is, which is the Targeted Blemish Relief Toner. This will absolutely eliminate over time blackheads. It can exfoliate inside the pore, whereas AHAs exfoliate the surface of the skin, whereas a BHA will exfoliate inside the pore, cleaning it out and making it much, much less prone to breakouts and all those things that we're trying to battle. So if you have um, you know, troublesome skin, then the BHA salicylic acid is a much better option for you. Okay, this is really cool. Now this was sent to me for free and it's, it's not every day I get free stuff and so I was really excited to see it. And the fact that I like it makes it even, even nicer. And it's the PMD Personal Microderm Abrasion System. It looks like this, it's a wand and it has a suction cup here and inside this cup is an area inside that has a little tiny um, pad that when you turn it on, your skin is very lightly sucked into the cup and this pad rotates and exfoliates the surface of the skin. Now, I've read all the blurb on this and done some research and it is amazing. I've tried it myself and it gives you the smoothest skin you've ever had. Now, I've had personal microdermabrasion before. Um, you can get them done sort of once every sort of two weeks or so and crystals are blast on the skin and then suck back up and it gives you a very very smooth surface to work with. The benefits of using one like this is that obviously it's your own which is obviously brilliant but the fact that you can do it more often and you get the same if not better results that as you would with a salon kind of microdermabrasion system which is absolutely good. So I'm actually going to show you kind of how to use it. They come with different size attachments for the face, for the body so you can do different areas and it's just, it's pretty cool. So let me just show you how to use it. You click it on and you can hear the noise. And what you do is, I always like to just stabilize the skin. I've got this thing about stabilizing skin. You put it onto the skin and move it up and move it up. And you can hear the suction and it just slouches off that dead skin cells. And it, you will have to kind of feel your skin to notice the benefit of it because it's so, so soft afterwards. It's like a little baby's bum. I'm actually just gonna go over the forehead area as well. 
Now you want to read the instructions with this as well because you certainly don't want to leave it on any area of the skin for too long because you don't want any scratches or anything like that. It's more a case of just running it across the skin like this. It can leave the skin a little bit pink looking as you can see but it calms down pretty quickly and you get very very smooth skin. Now in the description bar here if you have a look there is a discount code so if you do decide you want one of these you can get a discount on it which is really good because I just it's rare for me to like a product. It's rare for me to present a product. It's even more rare for me to like a product. And this is truly one of those products that actually does exactly what it says on the tin, which is brilliant. So here's the description. In the description bar is the code and their website. So please check them out and have a little look and see what you think, because I think it's pretty bloody good. I've talked a lot about Retin-A and Retinol. Now, there are two kinds. You can get Retin-A or the equivalent and this is prescription strength only, so you need to get this from your dermatologist. You could probably buy it over the internet, but the problem with Retin-A and these products is that around about 50% of all the people that use them can't tolerate the side effects because the side effects can be peeling skin, redness, sensitivity. They're not nice. I don't suffer with any of that with regards to Retin-A, so I use them. They are brilliant. They will... It alters the way that the skin cells are made and makes it basically says make them healthier and make them look younger. There is, there is scientific proof that Retin-A can reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. There is scientific proof on that, so it's brilliant. For those of you who can't get a prescription, don't want a prescription, you can try a product that is retinol, which you can get in town. Whenever you're buying a retinol-based product, make sure that it's in a container that is, you don't want anything see-through. It wants to be opaque because the ingredients are very sensitive, so you want it to be opaque. This stuff you can apply retinol, you can apply over your nighttime moisturizer or before, you can even apply it over your AHA or BHA, but you will increase the risk of sensitivity, so bear that in mind. Um, so you can kind of pick and choose. Retinol is a very, very good product to try, and there's much less sensitivity with retinol than there is Retin-A or Tretinoin as it's called. But this is a kind of bizarre thing to mention. I actually have no issues with redness, skin peeling, or anything with Retin-A, the original. But when I try retinol products, I actually have more irritation, which is bizarre because they are much, much kinder on the skin. But those two products really, really work. Okay, so there you go. These are products that actually work. Actually, I'm going to give you one more just really, really quickly. If you have very sensitive skin, rosacea, um, irritation, redness, that kind of thing, you still want to exfoliate your skin, look for a product that contains urea. Urea in a concentration of say 2% right the way up to 10% has the ability to exfoliate the skin without having to worry about things like pH. So if you've got very dry skin, very irritated skin, rosacea, eczema, then you can use a product that contains urea that will absolutely help to exfoliate your skin and keep it looking absolutely beautiful without having to use slightly harsher chemicals like glycolic acid and salicylic acid. Thank you for watching, I appreciate all your time and I'll see you next time, bye bye.